I'm here at Stanford at the uh, People Centered Internet, and I'm talking to Ahmed Kalvo, who is uh, one of the organizers of this conference, who's been very involved, was very active. And uh, Ahmed, what did you want to accomplish with this uh, session? Because you, this was not your first time that you had a conference like this. Yes, um, we wanted to get people who were subject matter experts in very diverse fields to share together in a com new community of practice, a new, a new set of possibilities, mm. the notion of a people-centered internet. We brought people purposely from very different uh, experiences and perspectives, convened them together in um, a collegial approach so that everybody's voice could be heard in the discussion. Yeah, small enough, eh? about small enough. 35 people. Yeah, we, we wanted, well, we believe the group is always smarter than any one individual. Mm. Uh, but you have to enable the group process. In other words, what we call the conversation of the whole room. Mm -hmm. So for that, there are a number of methodologies, exercises. And technologies. And technologies. Yeah, we yeah. voted about everything, <laughs> you know. We, we <laughs> were asked to, to vote everything. The whole yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've done a number of these before, and so I it's a new topic that we're applying uh, in this uh, experience we just went through. But um, mem members of the team had been involved in the Health Futures Group and a number of other activities historically with um, what began as a quality improvement process in the breakthrough collaboratives from Institute for Healthcare Improvement and the work with HRSA and HHS as a whole. Yeah, and you are a, a medical doctor yourself. How did you get involved from uh, you know doing practical medical stuff to, to thinking about the whole structure of the medical infrastructure for the whole world? Yes. Well, um, I've always been interested in um, sort of um, medicine from a both a, a linear way, and narrow, and the broader construct. Mm -hmm. Had to do with having grown up in Costa Rica and going back and doing some disaster medical teams there, and it was clear that you know there were a lot of um, social determinants of health aspects that were just as important as the medical care. Mm -hmm. So the quality of the health care delivery in the hospital is important, and so is the broader health construct of other aspects that are important for the actual population health. So mm -hmm. in other words, about 80% of the determinants are actually yeah. other than health care. Wow, really? Yeah. It is that it's it's prevention, it's, pre you know, it's, it's care versus education, cure, and yeah, um, a number of other uh, social aspects. So from connecting that up to the internet, it turns out that people, for example, gain weight not as individuals, but as a network, a little social network, and they can lose weight together, but you need to um, really have that group process. In okay. some cases, it's family. In some cases, it's uh, your friends. Yeah. How happy are you with this two-day process about the people who came, the enthusiasm, and also what came out of it? Yeah. We're thrilled. I mean, the bottom line was people really engaged. They were very excited, contributed um, with heart and with mind, and it worked. People really connected up, and there's all kinds of interesting stuff that they've already decided to do. Yeah, about a so hundred ideas came out of this, so that will be <laughs> taking a couple of decades to uh, to get uh, to get through that. Oh, well, we have impatience <laughs> about that, though. But that's why the "What are you going to do by next Tuesday?" question, because they they really got going on stuff even already. I mean, some people are blogging and already connecting up. Yeah. Bottom line is, there's a, a real engagement. Yeah. Well, you got a fantastic group of people together I mean it really was impressive oh everybody was interesting to talk to so that yeah, was, was nice that were the everybody was individual fascinating if people want to know more about this where can they look there's no internet site yet right I think Maylin is about to start um, with that the whole because you want to share the outcome exactly. right that is the goal I mean you have done this a lot of these kinds of talks mm -hmm. where you try to get people going and with a small group of enthusiastic people going you can really change the world huh? that's the right. that's what Stanford proved I mean uh, you know I talked to Vince Cerf and he said I yeah I built the TCP IP in nine months here and therefore the internet I mean functionally yeah. there's a lot of other aspects when you couple up Vince Cerf and Doug Engelbart really Vince was the original Node one, yeah. and Doug was Doug two. Uh, Doug Engelbart was Node two yeah. in what became ultimately the internet. Bottom line is, I do think Stanford in particular is interested in incubating all these ideas and just going out to deal with big global what are called wicked problems, mm -hmm. and those are things that by definition require partnerships and collaboration because one institution or one agency cannot do it by themselves. That's partially wh what really was fueling this discussion today. There are a lot of real interest of the young of all these. Um, citizens of the, of the planet, really, converging to, to see how they can collaborate better. Ahmed, thank you very much. Thank you.